Hey there guys, it's Stealth49er here with what's new in Minecraft Snapshot 14w27a and b. The first thing is that they added all of the missing block states to the debug world mode. So you can see we have all of the possible states for redstone and fire and all of these different types of blocks. The next thing, which is the main part of the snapshot, is that rabbits have been added into the game. So if we go ahead and spawn one, you'll see that they sort of act like ocelots and uh, they sort of run away from you slash hop away from you when you walk towards them. They can be bred and tamed with carrots and uh, they have a whole bunch of different properties so the first thing is that they can actually eat your carrot crops. Uh, so they cannot actually uh, mess up your crops and trample your crops but they can eat the crops right out of the ground it'll just sort of disappear the land will stay tilled uh, but the crop will disappear and you can see that I've actually eaten all of these crops uh, already and there's a few left but not too many they come in many different variations there is uh, white brown gold black and white and salt and pepper this is the salt and pepper uh, we have the brown we have the white the gold and the black and white if I go ahead and kill one, you'll see that they drop a few different things. And uh, we have the rabbit hide, the raw rabbit, and a rabbit's foot. Now they have a chance of dropping any of these things. So if we go ahead and kill them, you'll see that eventually we will get uh, a few things. So we have the rabbit hide. Let's see if we can get some raw rabbit. There we go. We got raw rabbit and rabbit hide with that one. So there's a whole bunch of different things that they can drop. There's a bunch of different items that come with this rabbit update. So we have the raw rabbit, uh, the cooked rabbit, which is just the raw rabbit cooked. Uh, we have the rabbit hide, the rabbit's foot, and the rabbit stew, and also the rabbit spawn egg. The rabbit stew can be crafted with a uh, cooked rabbit, a carrot, a baked potato, a mushroom, which I believe is either type and a bowl. And this will make rabbit stew, which heals five meat pops or 10 health points, which is actually the uh, best, as far as healing goes, the best food to eat besides golden apples. With this rabbit update, there is also a new potion in the game. This is called the Potion of Leaping. And this can actually be uh, brewed with an awkward potion and a rabbit's foot and it will create uh, this Potion of Leaping, which gives you a slight jump boost. If we go ahead and drink that, you'll see that we can actually jump over these fences. You can see a, small, a slight visual difference. Not too much, but it's a little bit. These rabbits also come in a baby variation. So you can see we have uh, the gold one here and the baby gold one. It's basically just a small version of the rabbit, like there are the baby versions of the other mobs. Other than rabbits, there are some new features with sheep. They can now drop raw mutton, uh, which you can see right here, and you can cook that to make cooked mutton, which is a food. And uh, if you kill one, they have a chance of dropping it, and you can see that it just dropped two. You've got one there, and you've got two more there. Uh, so they also drop the wool alongside with the mutton. And other than that, uh, there's just a few bug fixes, but that's really it for this snapshot. And if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments below. If you did find this helpful, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you could share this video, I would greatly appreciate that as well. If you're not following me on Twitter, haven't liked the Facebook fan page, or are not following me on Google+, Plus, all of the links are down in the description below. And if you're new to the channel and you do enjoy gaming tutorials and reviews, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.